I've been walking on foot in India for the last four months. It is said that India is a country of diversities. People say, I have lived this variety while walking. I came to know that small changes can be seen here in every four to six kilometers. Taste of water, smell of air, dimension of trees, colors of leaves, softening of soil, people's expression, tone and language, tea, bread, rice, vegetables, everything. When we travel by a train or a plane, then we go from one place to other place. We see changes, but we cannot see the changes happening. We are not able to join the process of change. The process of change slips silently from under our feet. We can touch this change only by walking. When I walked into the villages, I felt soil under my feet. I can say that I kissed the earth with my footsteps. When I moved to cities, bitumen and concrete blisters my feet. I can say that there is no place to walk in bitumen and concrete, only to run. To run means not to reach anywhere, only to run away. There is a difference of ground and sky in walking on ground and flying in the sky. Even when silence join us for the walk, even when wind stops its whisper to the falling leaves, even then there is one sound that prevails, the sound of our footsteps. In this sound, I could listen to the pitter-patter of the rain or sometimes I feel it's a river flowing far away from us. Drop by drop it rains, distance by distance the river flows and step by step we walk. Who knows, our walking may quench someone's thirst. What time is it in, in India? I it's 7 p.m. Yeah. Oh, evening. that's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's 9.30 in the morning in Toronto. Yeah. Oh my God. So it is basically a tea time for both of us. Um, That's right. It, yeah. <laughs> it's tea, tea time at, uh, in the evening in India and it's tea time in the morning there. So yeah. Yes. Uh, the, the one and only time that I went to India um, two years ago um, to Madurai, um, they would have a pot of tea. Um, yeah available all day and that is i have to say the one thing that i really really miss <laughs> oh, so, uh, i i have never been never been into uh, you know madurai so okay. just, just because of that pot of tree i can go there oh. <laughs> yes I, absolutely you should go <laughs> i i am so love uh, with the tea i'm in so love with the tea yeah. i know it's very hard to replicate that <laughs> <laughs> Where in India are you right now? So I am uh, in the central part of India, uh, like uh, it's the state is uh, Madhya Pradesh, which is like the central state of India, and I am in the capital city of this state. It is called Bhopal. And oh, okay. Yes, and this is the city of lakes. So if you ever want to come to India again and please do visit Bhopal. It's a beautiful city. Uh, so actually uh, I've studied civil engineering first of all uh, and uh, it, it is like uh, I was doing job in construction company and I was doing a 12-hour shift and uh, meanwhile I, I, I was doing some volunteer work uh, in, in some youth organization like Make a Difference which works for education in shelter uh, kids uh, and uh, Unhappiness Society, which is connected to Jai Jagat March in uh, Bhopal, right? So I was exploring poetry and uh, literature as well that time. And uh, I felt that the 12 hour shift job, I cannot do. <laughs> like 
I I I'm not you know made for this. I cannot do this anymore. One day suddenly I realize let's let's quit it. And new people uh, can do 12 hour shifts. <laughs> yes. And I was in a factory and uh, just looking at the concrete and preparing buildings and all. So I thought uh, this is not what I want to do mm, to the rest of my life. So I decided to uh, leave that job and four years back, uh, I decided not to work in construction anymore and switched my career into literature because I, I was so much in love with stories, poetries, you know, and books and illustrations and uh, the art basically. So I wanted to, uh, you know, explore this only. Then I joined a Bhopal-based uh, children's literature and art center, which is called Ektara. Uh, here we uh, used to uh, prepare literature, uh, literature for children, basically. Uh, like short stories, poems, magazines, books, posters, play cards, for, uh, especially for children. So I joined this uh, project and then uh, I moved back to Bhopal. And uh, I came more closer to uh, writing and social working too. And uh, now I am a freelance writer um, because before Jai Jagat, I had to quit that job for join, joining Jai Jagat. But uh, after coming back, I thought I could do freelancing writing. So I write short stories for children's magazine. Uh, I do translation, documentation, report writing. And uh, uh, I write uh, like... Um, uh, I write poems for myself now. It is called Ped Jante Hai Chalna. So it goes like Agar bol sakte ped, to pehle bolte nahi, pehle rote. Has sakte ped, to pehle sunate apna duk. Tumhe kya lakta hai ki pedo ko chalna nahi aata. Galat sehmi hai tumhari. वो जानते हैं चलना लेकिन वो नहीं भाग जाना चाहते तुम्हें अकेला छोड़कर वो जानते हैं छोड़कर चले जाने का दुख उन्होंने देखी है कितनी सारी पीढ़ियां जाते हुए उन्हें पता है किसी कि किसी के चले जाने पर मनुष्य करता है विलाप गलत फहमियां उन्हें भी होती है ट्री ट्रीज नो वॉकिंग इफ ट्रीज कुड स्पीक they would cry first. If they could laugh, they would tell their grief first. What do you think? Trees can't walk. It's your misconception. They know how to walk. But they don't, they don't want to run away, leaving you alone. They know the pain of leaving. They have seen many generations leaving. They know that when someone leaves, humans mourn. They too have misconceptions. you to the decision to take a year to quit your job take a year yeah. off <laughs> to join a march you know to walk from delhi to geneva yeah so uh, as i told that i was working with social organizations like unhappiness so uh, they have a program uh, called rurban uh, and uh, rur rurban uh, is basically a combination of two words rural and urban so what uh, this project is about, uh, they select some uh, urban youth and they plan a camp in some villages. Uh, there you can go and visit the village and stay there for like uh, one, or, one, one or two weeks. And you can understand the, you know, how the village functions and what are the strength of the villagers and how they are connected to their roots, how they are connected to the nature so that you can uh, learn and you can spend some time in uh, village. Uh, so um, you get more closer to, you know, nature. And uh, I, uh, I took uh, a one week leave from my office and joined this project because I so wanted to do this and spend some time in village. Uh, then 
there uh, i met uh, rajagopal ji uh, and he uh, spoke about jay jagat campaign and the, the moment i i've heard that they like 50 marches will going uh, like will be walking from i i i thought eh, what 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 just he said <laughs> all along walking like on fire to 11 countries <laughs> yes so th- that was a really you know fascinating idea and i got really attracted to this concept and this idea that how someone can walk for like one year and uh, who who will be those people those 50 march or who will be those people so uh, i asked the same question <laughs> raja ji said raja raja gopal ji said uh, you can be one of them i said oh what <laughs> sir so then we discussed all uh, uh, the the entire concept uh, the process the selection process and all we discussed all the things and after coming back from the that project that that thing was in my mind like uh, it was bugging me go 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 you you have to do it this is the lifetime chance if you miss this you cannot ever you know uh, repay uh, for it and you will regret it for your life that why didn't you go so uh, they uh, they planned a youth fellowship then and i got to because i was in a touch with the organization uh, and rural urban and uh, unshapiness and ekta parishad and jay jagat project so i used to keep check their posts and all so uh, they have uh, opened a youth fellowship program for one year and uh, i thought let's do it uh, but for this uh, too many sacrifices uh, i would have to you know to do uh, quitting job would be the first one and uh, going away from your all you know belongings for uh, so i uh, used to live here i rented an apartment and uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, too many things like so i i i convinced myself all are really small things like uh, these are, are are really small job you can get next year all the things you have you can put it somewhere in some friend's house and you can get it uh, later but this if you miss you cannot get back in future i applied uh, i had a telephonic interview uh, and uh, from the panel and uh, i got selected then i resigned from my company and uh, left the apartment i packed my bag and uh, uh, i went for the training uh, the very first uh, training we had for the year long march so that is how i got uh, involved with the march and then the journey started what did what did your parents say to you when you when you told them what you wanted to do so you know in india when you are about uh, like 25 or 26 years old uh, all parents wants you to get married first of all <laughs> this is not marriage <laughs> and uh, i i know the their weakest point that how i can convince them so i said okay look you want me to get married let me go to this yatra after coming back i'll get married <laughs> <laughs> so there was a bit of negotiation <laughs> yes yes so it was like uh, um, uh, but you have job and uh, how would you manage then uh, where the money would come from so i uh, um, so my dad is fr- retired from indian army right and uh, entire life he has worked for uh, the country and he have been travel traveling all all over the countries and I, we were just uh, he, uh, listening stories from uh, him uh, when when whenever we get a chance so i i told him uh, that you uh, you have you have worked your entire life for you know uh, the um, country and uh, this is the only chance i this is the only chance like for one year i can work for uh, the nature the entire world or of course for my country as well uh, so let me do it and he said uh, okay 
if you want if you really want to do it uh, do it uh, and but uh, take and learn as much you can from there because this is really a life changing uh, this would really a life changing experience for you and you will meet a lot of people you will see a lot of places so uh, please acknowledge all of it and be there so yes my That's mom uh, was yeah my was m- mom was not really that happy but once he uh, got the news that i have been selected in like all i am in the um, uh, 50 people who have been selected so he he yeah, she thought okay oh, this guys doing something he got if he got selected means he has something in him so okay go <laughs> it was like that yes What did your friends think of your plans? Poems or, or plans? That that you wanted to go to this year long march what did your friends think uh, about this? So first I uh, uh I told this concept in my colleagues like in office really uh, the very first time and they were really surprised that I want to quit the job and um, uh, do this. Nobody uh, you know uh, felt like this no this could be the wrong decision or something like they all, all, all they they were so helpful and they were so appreciated me like uh, uh, oh you should do it don't worry about the job you will get it uh, uh, don't do it don't miss the chance this is a lifetime opportunity so everyone like um, in my friends my family uh, nobody bothered about you know uh, wow, that, uh, that's great yeah and everybody supported actually in in fact uh, financially that uh, financially too my friend said if you need anything if if you are not earning you are you don't have any job but in the yatra if you need something please tell us and there are a lot of people who are you know came forward to help me so this is like really wonderful thing which happens to me Wow, that's fantastic. So you might have been the the person walking, but you had quite a few people behind you helping yes, you yes. do the walk. That's amazing. Choti ichha. So taaron se labalab bhare aasman ko दिल में समाने के लिए आसमान से बड़ा दिल नहीं प्रेम से लबालब भरा हुआ एक छोटा सा दिल चाहिए होगा पूरी पृथ्वी को समाने के लिए पृथ्वी से बड़ी इच्छा नहीं चाहिए होगी प्रेम कर पाने की एक छोटी सी इच्छा दिस वन इज कॉल्ड आई स्मॉल डिजायर टू फिल योर हार्ट विथ अ स्टेरी स्काई You don't need a heart which is bigger than the sky. You need a heart filled completely with love. And to fill in the complete earth, you don't need desires which is bigger than the earth. All you need is a small desire to love. So what tell me the day that the first day that you you left home for the last time and that you you joined the marchers. Uh so yeah it was uh first of uh, October because 2nd of October was the uh, day we had to move. I think it is a uh, yeah first of uh, October I move uh, so we got a train Bhopal to Delhi. and a lot of people there uh, like uh, friends and family members were there to see me off and one of my really close friend started crying oh. so i thought oh my god don't do it i'll come back so i said yaar one year is really a long time so uh, i don't know but uh, the moment was really emotional for me as well because i love this city uh, bhopal is like love for me love affair for me so i have never been you know too far f- for this long time so that was really challenging for me 
leaving all things behind my city my people uh, friends uh, places from here there is one place uh, i really love i really enjoy i go and sit there and uh, see the lake i i know i'll miss this and i'll try to come back whenever <laughs> whenever it is possible to you know just come when when we were in india like whenever it is possible to come back to bhopal for some reason i'll uh, see the opportunity for one day or two and i'll join back the yatra which i did too <laughs> so yes it was like that so you flew into delhi and then you met you stayed with you started staying with the rest of the marchers yes uh, so uh, uh, there were some event uh, uh, which is like uh, the opening event sort of things like a lot of activists a lot of people even the international marcher the people who are not marching but they are supporting they all came forward to you know attend the events and it was like a gathering of like 200 and 300 people wow. and, this, and we were just wondering that uh, who who is going to march with us who is going to march with us like the international because we had our uh, planning with the indians uh, indians yeah Oh, but not with the international yeah. marchers. Oh, yeah. They, right. They, yeah, there was uh, there was that that moment when we all met with the international marchers. Amazing. So, how did you how did you feel when you when you took the first steps actually starting the march? How did you feel? So, I was really scared. Uh I you know, uh, after few uh, like before a few uh, months like like sixth or uh, like 6 or 7 months before joining the march i i've got an accident and uh, my knee got hurt oh and i was in bed for uh, one month and i was not able to fold my uh, oh, leg oh no <laughs> yes and i was just thinking this oh my god what 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 happened and how would i walk if i get selected then uh, after two months i uh, got recovered and uh, you know i i started walking i started uh, little how running then i felt comfortable okay now i can walk so i was really scared for you know joining uh, the <laughs> yatra what if have what if happen you know something happened and i have to come back because of my knee so yeah. it was like uh, really a scary moment for me but the first day we walked 27 to 28 km continuously oh good lord <laughs> and uh, this is a very first time for me that i have been walking since morning we we, we had breaks it, it's not like we all, all continue walk throughout the day day but we had breaks like tea breaks uh, lunch breaks some snacks some meetings discussions we had uh, on our way but after reaching uh, the destination for you know uh, uh, the day's de- destination um, there is my uh, uh, friend who is uh, satish uh, so uh, he was like uh, he was really tired he he, he was like i'm going to you know I, i i don't know i something is not very uh, you know uh, something is not happening right mudit bhai please you hold me when you walk and uh, th- this is i said just two more kilometers or something uh, like that just we'll this is first day satish i i am telling you this is our first day we have to do it so he has said i can do it please keep talking to me hold my hand and we'll walk so uh, we uh, reached the destination and he hugged me so tightly and i said bhaiya we we have done it this was our first day and we did it so it felt very good that okay we if we can walk 28 or 20 27 or 28 kilometers a day uh, today and very first day uh, will walk throughout the year uh, don't worry about it all then i uh, got uh, really you know confident about myself that okay we can walk then after few weeks 30 kilometers is like a, a really smooth walk for us Wow. Like, yeah yeah and uh, and we 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 started enjoying the walk so we used to sing we used to you know 
talk a lot a lot of things about uh, everything about life about love about uh, the environment nature about the villages we are crossing about the villages everything and uh, then we started uh, conversa- starting making conversation about uh, you know the other countries culture like we have some french speaking people we have uh, spanish uh, men so uh, it was really we never felt you know bore sort of thing that we are walking what uh, what just walking no we were uh, having like a lot of fun while walking too क्या चाहता है पेड़ उम्र बढ़ रही है गुजर रही है या बढ़ रही है पता नहीं तने के व्यास छाल की झुर्रियों में बढ़ोतरी लगी हुई है भीतर से जितना नम्र कभी था बाहर से ठीक उतना ही कठोर हो रहा है सदियां गुजार दी एक ही जगह पर गुजरा हुआ भी केवल घटी थी हुआ जिया हुआ नहीं जीने के लायक क्या था क्या है क्या होगा पता नहीं जीने लायक बचा नहीं मैं चाहता हूं मैं किसी दिन किसी के लिए घटित हो जाऊं और वह जी ले वट डज अ ट्री वॉन्ट ग्रोइंग ओल्ड गोइंग थ्रू और जस्ट ग्रोइंग डोंट नो स्टेम्स डायमीटर रिंकल्स द बाक रिंकल्स ऑन द बाक आर इंक्रीजिंग स्टेडीली एस सॉफ्ट आई वॉज वंस फ्रॉम इन साइड नाउ I'm hardening exactly the same from outside. It has been years. I have been standing still at one place. Also, what has passed has only occurred and not lived. What was what living in it? What is and what will be? Don't know. Nothing is left worth living. I want that some day I will happen to someone so that they can live. What was your favorite story? Like if someone just asked you, well, I'm asking you, um, yeah, yeah. tell me one story that really stands out, you know, from from your experience as a marcher. What's that story? Yeah, so uh, there are quite a lot of stories, but the one story which I can tell you is uh, there is one uh, person uh, her name was Lydie and she was she was from france and she was she was for like 76 years old and she was marching with us all day uh, she had that small backpack with her a water bottle and some diaries or pens or something like that and she keeps walking she, and she she doesn't know uh, english uh, she only knew french and uh, whenever she wants to talk uh, her french friends uh, translate into english and then you know, we make a conversation so one day i was feeling really tired and she was walking in front of me and i was just looking at their feet how they how she is walking at the age of 76 and i am 28 and i am feeling tired so i feel like really motivated when she was walking uh, in front of me and i was just so she was the only person i was looking at her and i was keep moving and i was telling okay we'll we'll do it if she can do it i can do it and i was just following her footstep and then uh, later i uh, called her friends uh, french friends and um, told them i want to talk to her please be my translator and her translator so uh, i ask that uh, you know how you can walk at this age uh, so uh, she said it's really easy for me i used to walk in mountains i used to climb mountains and i have always been into mountains only so we uh, all the time we are walking from here and there and we it, it is like trekking uh, all the time and uh, yeah it is really normal thing for me i said wow <laughs> just we just had this kind of conversation that's all 
so this uh, i have written short story on this as well um, so it was like really a memorable moment for me that you know someone is walking in front of you and at this stage she is walking and this is really normal thing for her so how one normal thing for you uh, you know can change someone's life or maybe can be a motivation for anyone so i always look uh, forward to this how has this experience changed you as a writer as a poet oh that uh, <laughs> is something like i don't um, i didn't accept ex- expect this question this is like really a surprise <laughs> question so uh, i never thought of it but i had to think of it uh, so my my you know my radius now is bigger mm-hmm. once uh, you know when uh, we were walking so i used to talk uh, um, representative of different countries different groups different uh, um, organizations uh, so my radius started you know uh, getting bigger and uh, my uh, thought process is now uh, like worldwide thought process i mean if i have to write two lines uh, related to something which is happening in front of me but my thought process will lead this to uh, you know all over the world uh, so now my thought process the, uh, the what do you say the it it has been extended mm-hmm. to uh, you know uh, i was uh, like limit limitless you can say or the limits are uh, like really big now before that i used to think just uh, surrounding me and you know in uh, india level or but now it is uh, changed into globally so you can say that whenever i think uh, about writing something now uh, i'll i'll th- i think that okay how this vis- this would be uh, you know uh, internationally uh, globally how people will read and how they'll connect so something like that and also i st- i started reading uh, poets from various countries uh, and working on them for translation wow and, um, yes so um, like uh, uh, there is one portuguese poet uh, the name is so complicated i can uh, tell you the name i i am i'm learning uh, only so uh, he has done such an amazing work nobody know about here in india about him right we uh, read a great po- uh, great poets um, but uh, some poets like if you uh, there is uh, one irani poet whose name is sabir haka so one of my f- hindi favorite poet he has worked on him and uh, he was a labor uh, the um, poet irani poet and he has penned down such amazing poems related to his daily routine as a Uh, labor as a daily uh, wages labor and you will feel amazing but nobody has noticed uh, before the translation happened right uh, so i want to do like this i want to uh, dig out some really great poem from uh, a lot of countries and read their works uh, which have been translated into english and i'll uh, present them into hindi so this is what i want to do wow and that's now, amazing <laughs> yes so this is coming from the experience of uh, the yatra only so my uh, thought process has expanded like yeah so it 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 has been life changing yes it it is really yes so uh, i uh, i follow this quote uh, by arthur ashe uh, which says start where you are use what you have do what you can so uh, mm, i just want to tell all uh, you know all your listeners all my friends all uh, the audience uh, that don't don't be inactive be responsive question yourself what you have been doing for the earth and what you have done and what you can do now uh, keep keep looking around you keep checking on the nature be involved with the nature and feel responsible towards every single thing you see just uh, don't speak do it 
love laugh cry dance walk around travel across the world meet people make friends learn read a lot try every kind of a food learn new languages watch movies listen every type of music watch plays do everything you always wanted to do do this uh, this is the only time uh, you have to enjoy every single second of your life and there is really a, a famous dialogue from a movie called kung fu panda that uh, the master says yesterday was a history tomorrow is a mystery and today is a gift that is why it is called present thanks a lot oh thank you so much